Doctors, elder advisors, I'll get it out there. The workshop takes place tonight and then tomorrow morning as well if you happen to live across the river. Uh, you're going to yeah, help me out with someone who will help me, yeah. you know, my diction a little bit if you would. I'm here but for you, Mr. Larry Reed. Weiss is here, as is Steve Langdon. Okay, we talked a little bit about the legal components and the importance of power of attorney. So let's talk about folks out there who said, well, I've heard, though, yeah. that I'm going to have to sell the house, and yeah. I've heard that I'm going to have to get a hold of all of the CDs and all of my <clears> assets. Yeah, I want to circle back because I talked about it last week when we were on the show, and Steve and I were kind of putting the finishing touches on the strategy for, we'll say his name is Raymond, and uh, he is in that, in that ballpark where everyone has told him, you know, uh, you can't keep the family house, you're going to have to lose it, Medicaid requires stuff like that. And to a degree, that's true as far as if you're looking at the hard and fast rules, which is much what Steve encountered years ago with his own family situation. Yeah. The rules are there unless you know what Steve calls the special exceptions. So uh, Steve and I have developed a plan because I'm not an attorney, but I can do the financial. I have a background in real estate. So we're going to work together with the rules. Everything is disclosed to the state. So Raymond can keep the house. But you have to go outside the box of just you know talking to the local business office manager at a nursing home or Gus or Mabel at the barbershop or the beauty shop wall because that is devastating. Because for husband and wife, we can keep all the assets. For a single person, we can keep we can keep half of the assets. That's why we're doing the workshops tonight and tomorrow. You can go to freeworkshop.com or call 855-LARRY-55. But to be successful, all kidding aside, I don't even have to call the phone right now and call the producer. Uh, Steve, we need Steve. He's the elder law component. He's the elder law superstar attorney because I need him to back all these strategies up. Well, yeah, well, and that's, you know, when I went through this, with my brother many years ago now, and it was it was a, I was a litigator at the time. I did jury trials and hearings and things of that nature. Um, That's what really led you to where you are. It, it really did, um, you know. And we we talked to my mom and I. We talked to um, caseworkers for the state. We we talked to business office managers at nursing home. We did research on, online. Anybody and everybody I could think of who would know better. That's who we reached out to. And I think every one of them mean well. I really do think they mean well, but they don't understand what the exceptions to the rules are because it's not what they do. I mean, the caseworker is there to process a file. They're not there to help you preserve your assets. The business office manager at the nursing home is there to provide care. They're not there to preserve your assets. So everybody I talked to who I thought would know better, they didn't know better. And so that really led me to doing what I do now, which is helping folks get through a very stressful situation and come out on the other end better than they ever expected. There we go. And, and to circle back to the viewers that are watching the show today, and they've seen this in the past and are watching the show, if this type of disinformation, well-intentioned barbershop law happened to an attorney, an attorney that files court for families in federal state court, Indiana, Kentucky, was in the prosecutor's office. You know, Steve certainly has a skill set. And if he's given this misinformation at best, what do you think the regular folk out there are getting? Yo, it's, it's not even as good as what Steve got. Because when Steve reached out, I have to believe that the people set up, kind of set up in their chair and go, hi, Mr. Langdon, how may I help you? So they made sure they were giving him clean and as much they knew as clean, accurate information. It was basically, it wasn't helpful at the end. Yeah, why, why not go to a specialist? if you're, You need a right. heart surgeon if you need heart surgery. Right. Why not go to someone like Elder Advisors who knows the rules and knows exactly what you should do to protect your assets. That's why and, we're doing the workshop. And keep money in your pocket. Right. Don't you find that the reason people procrastinate is because when you talk about declining health, and it's, it's just natural for you to go, okay, I, I don't want to talk about that but it's going to happen to all of us why not be able to keep the assets that's what mom or dad want absolutely right? and what i was alluding to earlier at the workshop questions one and two crisis planning or pre-crisis planning a lot of the families are in denial because they're in their 100 day window of medicare rehab they haven't got an 8500 dollars bill from the nursing home yet because medicare is covering it but what families don't appreciate is that can stop at any time typically after 20 days that's when it starts getting aggressive. That's when it starts getting serious. So I was on the phone this morning with Mr. Jimmy. He was the couple I alluded to a month ago. We make ourselves available for scheduled days, usually a week after the workshop. He could not wait a week to come in. He, I made time for him the following, you know, we were there Monday night. I got him in that Wednesday morning. Two days later at 9 a.m., I literally squeezed him in. I was on the phone this morning. I was talking about the case with Steve. So, you know, he was believing he was going to lose everything. His brother's going to have to lose the house and all this and that. None of that happened because they got to the right people.
When, kudos to Jimmy. When folks come tonight to the workshop or tomorrow morning, Steve, what do you open up with? What's, what do you think is the vital information? Is it about power of attorney? Is it, hey, thanks for coming. Let's do a little overview. How does it work? The, the most important thing right up front is let's let's resolve some misconceptions. Oh, okay. Because everybody walks in with a certain standard that they believe to be true. Let's knock those out of the park to begin with. And then let's start building up about here's what the rules are. Here's how they can work for you. Here's how we're going to save your assets. The important thing, too, is being able to have a chance to come back and sit down on a, with a one-on-one -on -one to really dial into your specific situation. Do you, do you need to call the venue and make sure you have room? Because these, this is good information, and they do get pretty full. Yeah, so I'm going to tell you, Indiana is pretty much going to be full. Uh, I can tell you right now, mm -hmm. uh, from the response I've just had this morning, when people go to thefreeworkshop.com, I kind of see a tally of the tracking. So you want to get there early. Uh, for Kentucky, not so sure. Tonight. Tonight. Tonight is Kentucky at 6 o'clock. But they need to go, they can go to freeworkshop.com and register and get there early enough. There's all kinds of information on the freeworkshop.com site. We, we literally have signage for the restrooms at the Kentucky property, the Hilton Garden Inn. It's a large property. We always need people. Where's the restroom? So I now have signage uh, for that. So I know Indiana is going to be full. Uh, Kentucky, usually we have enough seats there. But in either case, they need to go to freeworkshop.com and register. I always encourage people to get there 15 or 20 minutes early so they can find where the, you know, the restrooms are, the water gets settled in where they want. Um, and plenty of room. Like, yeah, and they can always call 855-LARRY55 because it answers all of your questions. 855-LARRY55. Don't go anywhere else. Last ones of the year. Yep, last ones till 2022. And it, cost it only costs you a little bit of time to come yeah. in yeah. and get yeah. some questions And answered. you know, I think it's a good time of year to do this because once the holidays kick in, you know, you're mm -hmm. going to get busy and, and perhaps it might be, again, too late. Maybe mom and dad, you notice they're slipping. Why not go ahead and have some answers going into the holidays? I right? will tell you that historically, November and December, we're very busy with placement. That's what Autumn Schneider, she's my right hand at the company. She's now our placement angel. She works with families getting placement because it happens every November, December. I don't know if it's because kids come in, they haven't seen mom in a yeah. year. They go, wow, mom's really slipped. And the brother who's there every day goes, really? I can't tell because he's there every day. So I don't know if it's other family members getting different opinions and whatever, but placement always ramps up in November and December, and then it's always more difficult. I, I don't know about you guys, but my mom is sharper than I am at, at 83. But good for her. Your parents doing well. Right? Yeah, I was over there this past weekend yeah. doing really good. They went out last night to Cracker Barrel, and I said, hey, how'd you do driving in the dark? He said, I think we're done driving at night. There we go. I, that I understand. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so, you know, if you need to make that call. Make that call, but before you do, you might want to get a phone that's kind of that's hooked up. <laughs> you know, let's. I, I had Tammy in the pre-production meeting. I want to talk about John Ramsey embarrassing me on live television. That's uncalled for. It's unseemly. It's unprofessional. Thank you. It's a highlight that of the hurts. show for me. Highlight that of the show. You know, what that shows? you know what that shows, Larry? It shows your creativity. That's there right, baby. That's right. And who do you want to work with? Someone who loves life, someone who is living not existing, or someone that's. You know, got their pants pulled up to their armpits, they're slumped down in the chair, <laughs> they're bored all day, they want to talk about how they fought in the Civil War for an hour, bores you to tears, or do you want someone who's live, baby, and gets it done? There you go. Good I'm information. Go with the uh, invite them out, Steve, tonight or tomorrow morning. Tonight at 6 p.m., we're here for the Louisville folks at Hilton Garden Inn near the Louisville Airport. And then tomorrow morning at 10 a.m., if you can't make tonight, make tomorrow. We're over in Indiana at Hampton Inn, uh, Louisville North, over on Broadway Street in Clarksville. About an hour of your time, you're going to get a lot of free information. It really will help you prepare for the holidays so that you know if something goes wrong, what you can do to preserve your assets and take care of mom and dad. That's right. Don't go broke in a nursing home. It's really good information. It is good news, folks. Okay, coming up here, not only will Don G. appear on the show, as always, until